Hey everyone, welcome back to SFDC Ninja and today I am back with another Apex Trigger scenario. So recently one of my colleague appeared in Infosys interview and in his interview he got this scenario. So without wasting any more time, let's start with it. Before anything else, let's first understand the data model for today's scenario. So today we are going to work on three objects which are account, case and task. This is all about data model. Now let's understand the scenario. So in today's scenario, on an account, whenever a case record gets deleted, then on that account, a task record should get created. Plus, an email should be sent to the owner of that account, informing that the case has been deleted. So this is what we are going to do today. I hope you got this scenario. Now it's time to code, so let's switch to VS Code and create a handler class. Let's name it Case trigger handler let's create a method now guys see in this scenario we need to perform all of our operations like creating a task record and sending an email after the deletion of case record so in our trigger we will use after delete event and there is an important point that for after delete we don't have trigger.new so we have to use trigger.old. Why? Because we'll be needing details of the deleted case and we can get it from trigger.old. So what we will do? We will pass a list of cases as parameter in our method like this. Let's say deleted case. And in this parameter, we will pass trigger.old from our trigger. So basically this parameter is equal to trigger.old. Copy its name, apply a null check on it, iterate over it. Let's change its name to deleted case list. Now guys see we need to send email to the accounts owner and we need to create a task again on same account so in both of these operations account is the you can say main point so our first task is to get parent account id of the case which gets deleted so let's create a set to store it let's say cc ids here apply a check that if account id is not null and if this condition will get true we will simply put account id in this set so in this set we have the account id of the deleted case copy its name and let's apply a null check on it like this this is to ensure that our rest of the code should be executed only if this set contains a value and this set will have the value only when on an account record a user deletes a case now in next step we will simply fetch details of the account in a map whose id is present in this set like this account let's say account map Select ID, we will be needing owner.email, we will be needing name from account where ID is in this set. Now, here we will perform all of our operations. First, let's create a task record. See, the task record that we are going to create should be on parent account of the case. So, first, let's iterate over this list. For case, let's say CS record. And here, apply some checks like this. If CS record dot account ID is not null 
and this account ID is present in this map dot contains key CS record dot account ID and after that let's create a task record new task subject will be is deleted we will put case number in subject let's give description also with subject was deleted now this task should be on parent account of case so we need to put account id in what id of this task for that let's store account details in an instance using this map like this copy this map name paste it here dot get cs record dot account id and here simply do like this or we can also put account id directly like this but still we will be needing this instance because we need to send email to the owner of this account but before that let's set the status of this task not started let's also set the priority and as a best practice we will not perform dml inside for loop so let's create a list copy its name and here add the task in it till here our first task is completed which is to create a task record on account now let's move to second task which is to send an email to the owner of the parent account of the deleted case so here let's apply a null check on owner email like this owner dot email not equals to null and here simply prepare the email let's set the address acc.owner.email let's also set the subject case related notification set the body case with subject here we will provide the subject has been deleted from the account acc dot name
best regards your salesforce team let's create a list for this also emails to send copy the list name paste it here okay dot add email first we will apply nlj on task list and we will insert it after that we will apply nlj on this list messaging dot send email emails to send save it and deploy it to work okay we are getting error uh, variable does not exist okay forgot to change it here save it and deploy it again It is successfully deployed. So we have our handler class ready. Now let's create a trigger. A trigger will be on case object. And like I told you, we are going to use after delete. We will apply a check like this. This is to ensure that our handler class code will be executed only for after delete. Copy our handler class name, paste it here, dot trg method, and we will pass trigger.old. Save it and deploy to work. It is successfully deployed. We have our code ready. It's time to see it in action. So let's go to our org. And here on this account, we have this case. Let's try to delete it. So the case has been deleted and here as you can see that a task record has been created. So our trigger is working fine for first operation and I checked my email and here as you can see that we are getting correct response which means our trigger is working fine for both operations. That's it for today guys and I'll be back with more interesting trigger scenarios. Thank you and keep watching.